To say that the Aronia Berry struggles with popularity is an understatement. Even with a name change from the choke berry, its high antioxidant level, and even its versatility in cooking and baking, the Aronia Berry has never broken into the mainstream consciousness as a go-to food. There are true believers out there, growers, farmers, and even business entrepreneurs who see the potential in this little berry. One such individual is Mike Matheson. He owns Harvest Moon Farms. When my wife and I retired, we bought our acreage. We have about 31 acres, and we thought, what are we going to do with this? We're, we're not going to buy cattle or anything to uh, feed. So we started doing a little research on different things, and we came upon Aronia. The value in Aronia is the uh, antioxidant level. Of course, it's the antioxidants and such that add the nutrient value to fruits and vegetables. It just so happens that Aronia is very, very dense in those qualities. Uh, there's so many berries. They're just loaded. The Aronia bush is indigenous to the state. Prior to settlers arriving, Native Americans harvested the berries for medicinal purposes and used the brilliant purple pulp as a dye. Today, Aronia can be used for just as many purposes. There's still wild Aronia around Iowa, and most people don't recognize it when they see it. It's a woody plant. It grows to be 8 to 12 feet tall. They bloom a beautiful ivory-colored blossom in the spring. So they do make good landscaping plants. And then, of course, in the fall, when they start to turn, they also are producing these berries that turn uh, very dark purple to black. And they're very attractive. The flavor of the aronia berry isn't for everyone. It's an acquired taste. The astringent flavor can cause your mouth to feel dry. But when combined with other ingredients, the aronia flavor palette is nearly limitless. While most operations are small, there is an increasing number of people throughout the state who are growing aronia. Some are hobbyists, while others sell their berries at local farmers markets. But as Mike attests, to do anything at a larger scale, you need a lot of aronia berries. Today, we're at Winding Creek Gardens in Belmont, Iowa. Larry and Nancy Turner own this farm. They're part of a four-member Aronia Growing LLC. My farm, Harvest Moon Farms, is one of those farms. We joined forces because to do anything of commercial scale, we needed a quantity of Aronia to do it. One of the things that we think that we need to do when we're working in a newer industry is we need to get exposure of Aronia to a more of a mass market so that more people learn what it is. Aronia growers have some work to do. The berries are not as popular as raspberries, blueberries, or even tart cherries, but that's not stopping people like Mike from pioneering the potential of this little superfood. This is all a pioneering effort. But that's been a lot of the pleasure for me. It's just, uh, it's something new all the time, and uh, it's just uh, pretty exciting, really.